okay so in the previous video we have discussed the logic for for reversing a given string without reversing the characters in the individual words that is just reversing the order of the words here we'll take a as an input array in which we'll input the string and b as a resultant array assuming both the arrays are of size 50 uh, let's say the input is abc space pq space xyz so it has 10 characters counting space also this string you have to put into resultant so resultant should become x y z p q a b c now this is only the part of a program which is going to just put the string a into b now if you remember the logic that we discussed in the previous part of this video we are going to first go to the end of the string and then start copying last word then second last word then third last word into the resultant string for that we will first find out the last that is length of the string in this case last will be 10 now using that last variable and using i variable will move from last minus one index to zero using this for loop so this for loop is this entire for loop from here to here which has so much things to do so i will take value 9 8 because this minus minus i will take value 9 8 7 6 5 up to zero and every time that i is going backward we are going to do copying of words from a into b now there are two cases we'll copy the words either at some ith character we'll get a space for example here sixth or third or we'll get the beginning of the string that is we'll get zeroth character and while copying the word you have to move forward while copying for example here as we get null character we'll stop copying the word or in this case you can see as we go forward while copying the word we'll get a space so till we get space or a null character we'll keep copying the words characters from a into b now this entire logic we'll try to understand step by step yeah so initially i set to nine j already set to zero k will be using for copying words so it will be at different places every time we will be checking is a of i equal to space or is i equal to zero so are you at space or are we at the first character so when i is 9 this is false this is also false i becomes 8 again false false if will not work again it goes for i equal to 7 again both the conditions are false i goes to 6 that time a6 is space is true so i is at 6 and this part of if will is going to work. 